What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. Today's video, we're talking about Hornets head coach James Borrego and some comments he recently made about LaMelo Ball that have a lot of people concerned. Let's Super go. Bees! AB the Hero, back at it, baby. All right, so let's start here. These comments that we, and the quotes that we're going to listen to are from um, Hornets head coach James Borrego. And this was after the game versus the Pacers that we just saw. Your boy AB the Hero was there. Um, if you're trying to get tickets to the NBA game, you want to get some good seats, sit, course, all of that stuff, check out the Game Time app. You hit the community tab, you use this, this code here, and you will get the $5 off your first joint. Do that, your boy AB get five. We'll both be at the game together, high five and all that stuff. You might even run into Ashley Shashamity or whatever, and then, uh, you know what I'm saying, get you a photo with her as well. But back to the video now. Uh, so it was at that game uh, where LaMelo was going off. Obviously, 21 points, I believe 10 or 11 rebounds, nine assists. Uh, Mason Plumley tricked that one off. So after the game, Ashley Shamady, um, who we just saw a picture, was uh, in the press conference and she had um, some questions for James Borrego. And, and let's just listen to him. Backcourt tonight was. Phenomenal. How impressed were you with Lamelo's creativity and then Terry's confidence in his shooting ability? Well, Mel, you know, Melo's creativity is always there, and uh, you know, it's, it's trying to pull him back at times, and you know, it's a little bit of balance there for him. But I thought he controlled the game there in the fourth quarter, got us some good looks. Uh, okay, let me rewind that back because that's the part. Um, and I, I posted this video the other day. I listened to it. And even I was on some, we, we had a conspiracy theory conversation and all that in, the, in last night's live stream. And, and I didn't think about this quote. I, I heard what he said, but I, I really gave him the benefit of the doubt. And I'll show you some things that really drove um, some suspicions for me. But let me flip this, is this right? Which way these go? Yeah. So that draws some suspicions for me. Um, we'll, we'll show you that here. But my man, God of Blackness, who was a moderator, he's on uh, the live stream last night, sent me this and was like, yo, did you hear what James Borrego said? And I was like, hold on, let me go listen to it again. So let me let me, let, let me play that back for y'all one more time. Backcourt tonight was pretty phenomenal. How impressed were you with Lamella's creativity and then Terry's confidence in the shooting ability? Well, Mel, you know, Melo's creativity is always there. And, uh, you know, it's trying to pull him back at times. And, you know, it's a little bit of balance there for him. But I thought he controlled the game there in the fourth quarter, got us some good looks. Uh, he found open guys. He found a hot hand in, in Terry. And I thought Terry was fantastic. You know, the biggest play of the game, though, to me, was the 50-50 ball and the jump ball. Cody Martin goes to get it. 50-50 ball could have gone either direction. He gets that, that jump ball, and it leads to a... All right, so initially, here's what was my thought process when I heard this, right? So I, I heard that Melo's creativity is, 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 um, it was special, you know what I mean? And, and also, I, you got to take into account that the words creativity was invited into that by her, her question, right? So then he echoed that, but then he's like, yo, we got to pull it back sometimes. And the question that everybody has is, if you have a special player like um, LaMelo Ball, why are you pulling that creativity back? That creativity was on full display throughout that game. When you watch him split um, a double team, go to the basket, finger roll. When you watch Duarte and he hit him with the oop and spin move into the bad boy, into the lane, and then get you a bucket before the buzzer goes off at halftime. The creativity, the way he dropping passes off the miles and Mason Plumley, I mean, and and so so the idea that we're trying to pull that creativity back um, begs a lot of questions from folks. For me, when I look at a guy who's on the ascension to being an all star superstar in this league, and that creativity is one of the things that is going to lead him to that, um, I get a bit confused. There's one other quote in here that really that that initially I mean, caught me. There. And uh, you know, it's let me see. Trying to pull him back at times, and you know, it's a little bit of balance there for him. But I thought he controlled the game there in the fourth quarter. Here's what it was. Is when he says, looks. "Let me see." Uh, he found open guys. He found a hot hand in, in Terry. 
is this part here. This is the, the most interesting thing to me about this Hornets organization. And when I say Hornets organization, I'm talking about from the, the actual Hornets down to Greensboro, the whole vibe is he says, LaMelo Ball did a, did a good job of finding the open man and then also finding the hot hand in Terry Rozier. <laughs> if you like me, you can see that that's something that typically is not like um, celebrated. I see open men all the time, Pauls, um, especially down in Greensboro. Um, I see the hot hand all the time and I see folks not getting the ball. So when he said, oh, it was such a good job. This, this to me seems like a, if you're teaching people how to play good basketball, that's, that, that seems like base level information. Find the open guy, he's hot, give him the ball. Man, he did a good job of doing that. We don't normally do that on night in and night out basis. Everybody on your whole team should be celebrated for finding the open man and giving the hot guy the ball. So it's interesting to me that that, that, that was one of the things that he felt like he had to acknowledge. Now, here's what I will say. When my man got a blackness sent this over to me, um, he sent it from this link, right? Uh, and this is the, the same like interview clip here, but it was posted by the Daily Hornet, Hornets Minute podcast, okay? And so where I realized, I, damn, I might've missed something, is I went down here to the comment section and I'm reading the comments and the first one is, is he serious? It was Melo's creativity that won the game. His passing ability helped Terry make those shots. He doesn't say anything when Gordon and Terry chucking a shot. Woo, woo, woo. Um, the perfect example of why LaMelo needs to become an all-star. If he achieves that feat, all the slick BS ends immediately. Um, we don't need to pull Melo's creativity back at all. Melo can easily score 30-plus a game. He's not because he's a pass-first player. We need Melo to score 30-plus. Uh, Melo unlocked everybody's game. So, no, you don't need to pull Melo's creativity back. Pulling back, there you go. He said it. Nice one, coach. You need to pull Hayward into. So, so I was like, damn, your boy AB missed it. I went back and I'm listening to it. I'm like, oh, okay, hold on. I, I see exactly what's going on here. Um, and and I see a lot of folks are 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 on the same sentiment, right? In the video that we did yesterday, we talked about um, uh, LaMelo's push to be an all-star and how that does not seem to be supported by the organization. Um, we have multiple conversation about Leangelo Ball's time in, in Greensboro and you're shooting 60 some percent from the arc, but it doesn't seem like they're pushing that you know what i mean it seems like if i had to put it in terms i would say um they're pulling back the <laughs> same way his his ability to be a scorer his ability to dominate in that level and in that game so um so that that's just interesting to me i would love to hear what y'all think as well in the comment section on this video let me know is, is that a reach did, did you hear what i heard is 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 James Borrego correct for wanting to pull LaMelo's creativity back a little bit? Or should we be trying to unleash that thing? And is this a systemic thing within inside that organization where we're seeing folks um, kind of be pulled back all over the place? Um, to me, when I, like I, I've said this before, and you need to definitely go out and vote NBA All-Star LaMelo Ball for sure. But also your boy Miles Bridges should be being promoted and, and being allowed to flourish and become great. Um, Terry Rose uh, it's just they got they got some key pieces on that team who need some opportunity and it seems like folks are being pulled back. Shemaine man, A B D Hero, we getting out of here. Peace. No, not peace. Plus one, triple B's, we out.